and we are back. Right behind me is an amazing monument that symbolizes the 500 men that volunteered in the American Revolution War. But before we get into this, I have an amazing man I want to introduce to you. He is a doctor, a professor, a hero to say the least, but I am not going to do you an injustice. I want you to introduce yourself to our Sink to Sink viewers. Welcome Dr. Emil Jamal Touré. Greetings. Welcome to Sink to Sink TV. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Thank you. Greetings. And again, uh, Mia Jamal Ture, we deal with history and culture. We have a sense of pride. Mm -hmm. And you are absolutely correct. Where we are right now, this is a special spot. Probably one of the most special spots in the entire country. Some of us don't realize it, but that's why I'm so glad to be here with you and to be able to share the information with everyone out there who want to know our story. Yes, yes, and thank you so much for being on the show with us today. Now, tell me a little bit on the history for our viewers that are watching to understand what that meant with the 500 men, Haitian men that volunteered in this war. Absolutely, because many people don't realize, and I tell folks this, that school children in Haiti know what happened in Savannah, where most Americans don't even have a clue that right here you have between, in fact, between 500 to 800 African men who are affronted, free men coming from Haiti, who will fight in the American Revolution here in Savannah on October 9, 1779. And then they're not just fighting, they also are heroic during that day. What will happen, they will save the day for the patriots. So as I tell folks, if it was not for Haitian participation, we would not have something called the United States of America. And so those black men come from Haiti to now fight for this nation right here. And we are indebted to IAT. We are indebted to Mother Haiti. And yeah, so that's why we said this is wow. a special spot. And the monument is significant with regard to telling that story. Well, thank you, thank you. And from my understanding, you know, and I grew up here in the um, United States as well. We didn't learn this stuff in history. You're absolutely correct. And that's why here you go people when they come into this square. And in fact, mm -hmm. the official name of the square is called Franklin Square. But I give it a nickname called Haitian Square. I like that, Haitian, right. Square. Haitian Square. Now, there were eight men um, that you mentioned to me that was involved in making this happen right here in Savannah, Georgia. Tell me a little bit about those eight men briefly and what role specifically you played in that. Okay, yes, ma'am, because what happened, it was a conversation between Richard Schenholzer, who's from Savannah, uh -huh. and Daniel Fiesemay, who was president of the Haitian American Historical Society in Miami. Mm -hmm. So he and Richard are having a conversation at a conference. Richard says, I'm from Savannah. Mm -hmm. Daniel says, wait a minute, uh, we fought in Savannah. <laughs> Richard wow. had an idea, because he had been told about this by one of our local historians. Uh -huh. So Richard comes back to Savannah, and because of our relationship, mm -hmm. he talked to Mayor Floyd Adams. Wow. So Mayor Adams now says, okay, let's go and work with them on this. And so from there, then he got council member Clifton Jones involved, mm -hmm. then got the city manager, uh, uh, Michael Brown, uh -huh. in addition, assistant city manager, Brian Gore, then Dr. Preston Russell, Scott Smith from the Coastal Heritage Society, and I also was a member. And so we were the team that's in Savannah. We were the ladies on in Savannah to make this happen for the society. Cause they had the vision and they brought it forth by us working together. Wow. Now, just to, out of curiosity, out of those eight men, were any of them Haitians that came together or was it? I want to know. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell people this. I said that spiritually, I'm Aisha. That okay. I say that spiritually. But all of us are from here, right. from the U.S. Right. But some of us, like myself, and because Richard had been exposed to some of the history, mm -hmm. that's why, again, they were aware of it. And then there was a painting in City Hall mm -hmm. that Brian Gore had in his office. So now when all this comes about, people are like saying, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. And so that's why Mayor Adams had me get involved. And also Scott Smith said, hey, Jamal, you know this story. Wow. And so that's why it all came about from Ooh. a mere conversation. Wow. So many more questions to ask because I know you're not uh -huh. Haitian. And I mean, we are so grateful to you and all the eight men. But we are going to have to be back after these videos. <laughs> 